the increase in the number of high profile um, uh, threats across the globe, the Indian organizations have become very security aware. And now because they have started opening their networks, they have started um, having uh, hosting web applications, mobile applications, going over the cloud. So there is this uh, dynamic change which is in their infrastructure which is constant. It keeps on changing. So it's no more traditional networks, but the networks are being hybrid. There are more mobile roaming users, organizations over the cloud. So that, is, that means that they need to focus on different areas of security and they have to look security as a holistic approach. And the couple of key trends which I'm seeing these days in organizations is how to secure our web applications. Uh, that is where uh, we talk about the security level of web applications wherever they are hosting them, how to secure the mobile applications, how to improve the threat detection and response capabilities of our organizations and what should be the roadmap of our overall cybersecurity posture where we should be in next six to one year. These are the key initiatives where the Indian enterprises are typically working these days. I think we need to understand that our networks are not traditional anymore. They are expanding, right? They are not behind boundaries or perimeters. We need to recognize and we need to be really strong in identifying the risks we are exposed to and then building security alongside. What I've seen is one of the biggest problems in India with Indian enterprises is that the business and security, they do not work together. Uh, if it's a business initiative, a decision is taken uh, and that is when they consider security but it's already quite late in the process. So the security and the business need to go hand in hand. The Indian organizations need to think about a risk based approach. And to deal with that, there are, there are many uh, technologies which can help them. But other than that, the processes have to be really strong and robust as a foundation to make sure that the technologies and the manpower which they have, they are utilizing it to the fullest. Hmm. Uh, the good thing is that now in India, there is a lot of awareness around threat detection and response. Um, and as one of the key initiatives, I've seen a majority of the organizations, uh, even the mid-size organizations, they are working on uh, building a security operations center and having some level of security operations capabilities in their network. And that is where I see more and more adoption of uh, MDR model, which we in Gartner call Managed Detection and Response, which you can also call as SOC as a service model. So the organizations to improve their threat and detection capabilities, they have recognized that they do not have, they cannot buy all the technologies which are out there in the market and they do not have enough skills to manage those new technologies. Rather they can, they can pay for an MDR as a service who can offer them security services out of their network. It would be getting the alerts from their network and then there would be skilled people who would be looking after their um, threats and doing threat hunting and threat analytics on their network. Uh, see, the threat detection and response market has become very saturated with number of products and more products flowing in every day. Uh, a client or, or an end user enterprise can never get enough of them. Whenever they get hold of say buy two, three, there are few more who come that now this is what you need. And um, that is where the organizations need to identify two things. First of all, what kind of products shall they be buying and investing in, which should be deployed in their premise or what and what kind of products they should be getting as a service. So first of all, that will reduce their management overhead if they'll get something as a service. Typically, I have seen adoption of and, and network sandboxing as one of uh, uh, detection and prevention technologies at the perimeter level. Going down, the organizations need to focus more on east-west traffic, things like network traffic analysis tools, network forensic tools, and even deception platforms. 
these technologies together will help an organization to improve their threat detection and response capabilities.